He converted the problem from a mechanics problem about a particle sliding down a chute to a problem about optics. Instead of a mass that's accelerated by gravity, he imagined a ray of light that would go faster and faster as it went into layers of less and less dense media. And if you make the layers thinner and thinner, where Snell's law is obeyed at each interface, you eventually get a continuous curve. Now the question is, how should the speed of light change from one layer to the next so that it accurately models a falling object? You could try to solve the problem by thinking if the particle has to fall from A to B, it's going to be picking up kinetic energy. It's going faster and faster as it slides down the chute, and it's converting the loss in potential energy into this kinetic energy. If you write down the conservation of energy for that relationship, you find that the velocity that the particle achieves at any time, having fallen a distance, let's say y, its velocity squared will be proportional to y, the height from the top. So velocity goes like the square root of y. And that'd be sort of like saying, imagine light moving in a way where instead of a constant speed of light, the speed of light is proportional to the distance from the top. 